The City of Andalia Council meeting will now come to order on April the 4th, 2016. Uh, we will have a moment of reflection followed by the Pledge of Allegiance to the flag. Would you please stand for the pledge? I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Council, you've had the opportunity to review the council workshop minutes of March the 21st, 2016, and also the council minute uh, minutes for March the 21st, 2016. Are there any corrections or revisions to be taken for those? Seeing none, they'll stand approved. We have no communications, petitions, or awards this evening, nor do we have any public hearings. And that brings us to the section where we invite anybody in the audience who would like to make a comment to us. If you would please come to the podium, state your name and address for our records, and give us your comment. Seeing none, we'll go on to the city manager's report. Mr. Cruzy. Thank you, Your Honor. I, I want to let council know that uh, the finance department will be operating uh, with extended hours through the end of tax season. Uh, the income tax division will be open uh, on Saturday, April 9th from 8 a.m. till noon, uh, Saturday, April 16th from 8 a.m. till noon, uh, Thursday, April 14th, and, and Friday, April 15th, uh, 7.30 in the morning until 6 p.m. in the evening. And then on Monday, April 18th, from 7.30 in the morning until 7 o'clock in the evening, uh, tax office will be available to assist taxpayers in preparing their uh, city income tax forms. And also to remind everybody that the deadline for filing your local income taxes is Monday, April 18th. Um, also, the income tax department is encouraging folks to file uh, their returns electronically. Uh, that's available on the uh, city's website at uh, vandaliaohio.org. Uh, there's a city uh, online preparation tool uh, that's available 24 hours a day online, seven days a week, uh, that with step-by-step -step directions, it's easy for the folks to use. However, if they don't have access to the internet or access to the computer, uh, they can contact the income tax department to get a paper form. Thank you. Are there any questions or comments? And I understand more and more people are doing it electronically. That is correct. Again, uh, the, um, the income tax forms as well as the, uh, the uh, email the billing, automatic billing for the utility uh, payments have, have been very uh, popular among folks. Good. Uh, action item, boards and commissions. Uh, council, this evening we had an opportunity to interview uh, Ms. Holly Patton and Mr. Aaron Hathaway, uh, and because they are requesting an appointment to the Housing Code Board of Appeals. And uh, I think this is a, a two Two votes. Uh, we can either do it at two votes if, if any one council member would like to, or we can do it as a um, one 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 vote, which I, is, is what we normally do. You typically in the work session, if somebody wants to have it separated, it's brought to my attention. But okay. it was not. Great. Yeah, so. Do I have a motion? Your Honor, I'll move that we uh, appoint uh, Miss Holly Payton and Mr. Aaron Hathaway to the Housing Code Board of Appeals. Second. It's been moved by Councilman, uh, or excuse me, Vice Mayor Lewis and second by Councilman Blakesley that uh, we do appoint Ms. Holly Payton and Mr. Aaron Hathaway to the Housing Code Board of Appeals. And uh, Mr. Hathaway would be taking on the title of alternate for that board. Any questions or comments? I thought they're good applicants, aren't they? Mm -hmm. And I think they're they're enthusiastic about joining something here in the city. So with all that, may I have the roll call? Councilmember Ehlers? Yes. Councilmember Blakesley? Yes. Councilmember Gerhardt? Yes. Councilmember Fars? Yes. Councilmember Herbs? Yes. Vice Mayor Lewis? Yes. Mayor Setzer? Yes, and the motion carries 7-0. There is no old business this evening, so that brings us to our resolutions. 
And that first resolution is Resolution 16-R-30. By title only, please. Resolution 16-R-30, a resolution awarding the bid for the resurfacing of various streets requested by the Public Works Department to Barrett Paving Materials, Inc. at the lowest and best bid price of $427,898. Thank you. Mr. Cruzy. Thank you, Your Honor. Uh, bids for the City Street Resurfacing Program were opened on March 15th. Uh, two bids were received, uh, with Barrett Paving submitting the lowest and best bid. Uh, the budget for this project is $480,000. Thank you. Do I have a motion? I move that we approve 16-R-30 uh, as read. Second. Second. It's been moved by Councilman Ayler, second by Councilman Herbst, that so we do approve Resolution 16-R-30 as read. Are there any comments? Seeing none, would you please call the roll? Councilmember Blakesley? Yes. Councilmember Gerhard? Yes. Councilmember Fars? Yes. Councilmember Herbst? Yes. Councilmember Ayler's? Yes. Vice Mayor Lewis? Yes. Mayor Setzer? Yes, and the motion carries 7-0. Resolution 16-R-31. By title only. 16R31, a resolution awarding the bid for the Poole Avenue Sanitary Sewer Replacement Project requested by the Public Works Department to T.C. Holzen, Inc. at the lowest and best bid price of $57,499. Thank you. Mr. Cruzy. Thank you, Your Honor. Uh, so bids for the replacement of the um, approximately 800 linear feet of 8-inch eight sanitary sewer along Poole Avenue uh, between Helke Road and Delsing Road were opened on March 15th. Uh, again, we received five bids with T.C. Holzen submitting the lowest and best bid. Uh, this project's being funded with $60,000 from Vandalia's INI fund through the uh, Tri-Cities North Regional Wastewater Authority. Thank you. Do I have a motion? I move that we approve Resolution 16-R-31 as read. Second. It's been moved by Councilwoman Farris, second by Vice Mayor Lewis, that we do approve Resolution 16-R-31 as read. Comments? Seeing none, would you please call the roll? Councilmember Gerhardt? Yes. Councilmember Fars? Yes. Councilmember Herbs? Yes. Councilmember Ayers? Yes. Councilmember Blakesley? Yes. Vice Mayor Lewis? Yes. Mayor Setzer? Yes, and the motion carries 7 0. Resolution 16 R 32, by title only, please. 16R32, a resolution waiving the formal bidding process and authorizing the purchase of a 2016 McLaughlin. VX 8800 trailer mounted vacuum excavator requested by the Public Works Department from Vermeer Heartland Inc. at the National Joint Powers Alliance purchasing contract price of $91,572.19. Thank you. Mr. Cruzy. Uh, thank you, Your Honor. I'm not sure there's much left to say. Um, again, we did budget $100,000 for the purchase of this hydro excavator. Uh, the Public Works Department did demo several models, and they are recommending the purchase of the uh, McLaughlin BX8800 vacuum excavator. Um, again, this was the second lowest in price of the four units they tested, but again, the one favored and recommended by the Public Works Department. Thank you. Is there a motion? Move that we approve Ordinance 16-R-32 as read. Second. It's been moved by Councilman Ehlers, second by Vice Mayor Lewis, that we do approve Resolution 16-R-32. Are there any comments? Seeing none, would you please call the roll? Councilmember Fars? Yes. Councilmember Herbst? Yes. Councilmember Ehlers? Yes. Councilmember Blakesley? Yes. Councilmember Gerhard? Yes. Vice Mayor Lewis? Yes. Mayor Setzer? Yes, and the motion carries 7-0. Resolution 16-R-23. Or, excuse me, 33. 16R33, a resolution adopting a facility sponsorship policy through the Parks and Recreation Department. Thank you. Mr. Cruzy. Thank you, Your Honor. Well, this policy would establish guidelines regarding the sponsorship of parks and recreation facilities and activities. Uh, the sponsor selection policy would prohibit sponsorship from any organization uh, that promotes the sale or consumption of alcoholic beverages, uh, the promotion of the sale or consumption of tobacco products, uh, commentary, advocacy, or promotion of issues, candidates, and campaigns pertaining to uh, political elections. Uh, any company that uses depiction in any form of profanity or obscenity or the promotion of sexually oriented products, activities, or materials or is involved in the promotion or sale or use of firearms, explosives, or other weapons or a glorification of violent acts. 
Thank you. Is there a motion? I'll move that we approve resolution 16-R-33 as read. Second. It's been moved by Councilman Herbst, second by Councilman Blakesley that we do approve resolution 16-R-33. Comments? Seeing none, would you please call the roll? Um, sorry, Council Member Herbst? Yes. Council Member Aethers? Yes. Council Member Blakesley? Yes. Council Member Gerhardt? Yes. Council Member Fars? Yes. Vice Mayor Lewis? Yes. Mayor Setzer? Yes, and the motion carries 7 0. We have an ordinance in its first reading, and that is 16 03 by title only. Ordinance 1603, an ordinance dissolving the Employees Relation Board and repealing Chapter 252 of the Codified Ordinances of Vandalia, Ohio. Mr. Cruzy. Thank you, Your Honor. Uh, the Employee Relations Board originated in the early 1970s to represent the best interest of the residents of Vandalia and equally the uh, Vandalia City employees. Uh, this board preceded the State of Ohio collective bargaining laws, which today supersede our local ordinances. Uh, the board has not met for many years and is no longer necessary. Is there a motion? Your Honor, I'll uh, move that we uh, approve Ordinance 1603 as presented. Second. It's been moved by Vice Mayor Lewis, second by Councilman Blakesley, that we do approve res Ordinance 16-03. Any comments? Seeing none, would you please call the roll? Councilmember Ehlers? Yes. Councilmember Blakesley? Yes. Councilmember Gerhardt? Yes. Councilmember Fars? Yes. Councilmember Herbst? Yes. Vice Mayor Lewis? Yes. Mayor Setzer? Yes, and the motion passes 7-0. Ordinance 16-04. Ordinance 1604, an ordinance dissolving the Human Relations Commission and amending sections 63201A and 63202A10 and repealing chapter 272 and repealing sections 63207, 08, 09, 10, 11, 12, and 13 of the codified ordinances of Vandalia, Ohio to remove the references to the Human Relations Commission from the codified ordinances. Thank you, Mr. Cruzy. Thank you, Your Honor. Uh, the Human Relations Board was created in the early 70s to ensure fairness for all Vandalia citizens. Uh, it was initially passed as part of a general civil rights and urban renewal legislation in the state uh, that has since been addressed by various state and federal anti-discrimination <coughs> acts that give citizens rights and causes of action that may not have otherwise existed when this ordinance was first adopted. Thank you. Do it. Is there a motion? Make a motion that we approve Ordinance 1603 is read. I'm sorry, 04 is read. Second. It's been moved by Councilman Blakesley, second by Councilwoman Forrest, Forrest that we um, approve resolutions, excuse me, Ordinance 16-04. You got me all tongue-tied. <laughs> Are there any questions or comments about that? Seeing none, would you please call the roll? And, and you may have, just for the record, we did uh, advertise that we were going to dissolve uh, these boards that did have existing members, the board members were advised and given an opportunity to come speak with council, and I believe some of them actually did. Right. And so I just wanted to point that out, that we're not just dissolving a board with the, uh, out uh, speaking with the current members of those boards. Thank uh, you for pointing that out. Councilmember Blakesley? Yes. Councilmember Gerhard? Yes. Councilmember Fars? Yes. Councilmember Hurst? Yes. Councilmember Ehlers? Yes. Vice Mayor Lewis? Yes. Mayor Setzer? Yes, and the motion carries 7-0. Uh, ordinance 16-05, by title only, please. Ordinance 16-05, an ordinance dissolving certain obsolete commissions and committees and repealing Chapter 274 and 276 of the codified ordinances <coughs> relating thereto. Thank you, Mr. Cruzy. Thank you, Your Honor. Uh, this ordinance would dissolve the Vandalia Youth Soccer Commission, uh, the Vandalia Youth Baseball and Softball Commissions, and the Insurance Review Committee. Uh, again, the soccer, baseball, and softball commissions have been dormant for many years and are no longer necessary. Uh, regarding the Insurance Review Committee, uh, Vandalia has been a member of the Miami Valley Risk Management Association risk management pool since 1988. Uh, therefore, we no longer independently receive quotes for our insurance. Thank you. Is there a motion? Your Honor, I'll move that we approve Ordinance 16-05 as presented. Second. It's been moved by Council uh, Vice Mayor Lewis, second by Councilman Herbst that we uh, approve resolution ordinance 16-05. Comments? Seeing none, would you please call the roll? Councilmember Gerhardt? 
Yes. Council Member Fars? Yes. Council Member Herbst? Yes. Council Member Ehlers? Yes. Council Member Blakesley? Yes. Vice Mayor Lewis? Yes. Mayor Setzer? Yes, and the motion passes 7 0. Uh, we have no ordinance in its second reading, nor do we have an or ordinance as an emergency. And that brings us down to the reports from boards and commissions. And you have in front of you the Parks and Recreation Board minutes of February the 17th, 2016. The Board of Zoning Appeals minutes of February the 24th, 2016. And the Planning Commission minutes of March the 6th, March the 8th, 2016. Are there any comments? Seeing none, that brings us to Council comments. And we'll begin with Mr. Schaefer. Oh, Mr. Schaefer isn't here tonight. No, I'm, I'm here for Mr. Schaefer tonight. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And I have no comments. Okay, thank you, Jerry. Mr. Kersey. Thank you, Your Honor. At uh, Council's last retreat at the Public Work Facility, I think it was back in early February, uh, Council expressed a desire to have more of the city's financial information available on the website uh, for our citizens, and that is now being completed. Uh, so, on, again, on the city's website, on the, uh, the Finance Department's page, we now have available the city's budgets uh, 2014 through 2016, our comprehensive annual financial reports from 2010 through 2014, our monthly billing statements for all of 2015 and thus far in 2016, as well as our quarterly financial updates. And again, and, and as we come out with our new monthly billing statements, quarterly financial updates, again, those things will be, will be updated on our webpage accordingly. Thank you very, very much. Anything else? I have nothing else. Okay. Um, how about Councilwoman Fars? Um, I just wanted to thank staff on the Park Rec Recreation Department. They put a lot of... Um, work into the sponsorship policy that we just adopted and and it was a great job and I appreciate that. Also um, there's a, an artist Mr. Robert Farley who's exhibiting in the lobby as we speak and he'll be there through the 6th of May um, and then the senior art show from the high school will come come into the to that gallery space. Um, he also has a reception on Monday uh, April 18th from 6 to 8, and the public is invited. That's it. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Councilman Gerhard? Uh, no comments tonight. Councilman Blakesley? Nothing. Thank you. Councilman Ehlers? Nothing. Thank you. Councilman Herbs? Nothing tonight. Thank you. Vice Mayor Lewis? No, Your Honor. I have a question. <laughs> Sorry about that. Uh, since we did not get finished with our workshop, do I adjourn to the workshop? And then we go yes, into I was, I was just discussing that with the city manager. What we would need to do is to not close this meeting, but adjourn this meeting until the conclusion of the work, work study session, okay. uh, in which case we will reconvene this meeting for the sole purpose of going into the executive session and then formally closing out this meeting. Okay. So you would need a motion to adjourn this meeting. Mm -hmm. And you could do a motion to adjourn this meeting and reconvene the work session and then we can all move back to that room, finish the work session, come back here, and then go into executive session. Okay. Quite convoluted, I understand. No, I, I knew that we had to do something. I wasn't <laughs> sure how we were going to do that. I agree with Jerry, so moved. Oh, second. <laughs> all in favor? We need a second. Second. Oh, second. Oh, yeah, we have a second. Okay, I'm sorry. All opposed? Okay. So now we can go back. Now you can go back into the work, the work session. session. Then we have to close out the work session mm -hmm. and open up the executive then, session. Then open up this meeting. And then take a roll call to adjourn into executive session. Okay. We'll try it. We'll make it.